Hey guys, it's Rihanna. Hi, it's Katie. And welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our first video that we're doing. We've just started up our channel. So make sure you subscribe to us and leave comments. But we are doing a get ready with me. Just going for a Nando's a bit later. And this is our finished look. So if you want to see how we made this, make sure to carry on watching. The first thing I'm going to use is, I'm going to use my micellar water because I need to get rid of any oil. Yeah, I'm going to use my toner quick as well. It's just a body shop one. Yeah, mine's the Nivea one. My cellar water. I'm so oily today. Mm, me too. I'm always really dry, but as soon as the sun's come out. I know. My skin's changed. So now I'm going to use the Hydrating Boost by Simple. Um, it just kind of does what it does. Like It just hydrates my face. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my uh, moisturiser, which is Body Shop as well. It's vitamin E, like the toner I just used. And then the final thing I'm going to use before I start my makeup is my L'Oreal Triple Active Moisturiser. I'm running low. Very low. I've got all red now. Yes, yeah, so I'm not touching my face. Yeah. I feel like we should answer some questions. Mm. Or like talk about ourselves. Okay. What should we talk about? <laughs> no, well, first of all, I'm using the Revolution Pro uh, Brow Pomade in Blonde. I'm just going to moisturise my lips as well quick because they're really crusty. <laughs> mm. Yum. Mm hmm. So yeah, um, well, we should just talk about ourselves. Um, tell us, tell you guys a little bit about us. Um, we both do beauty at college. Yeah, we together. both do beauty therapy. We go to college together. Um, I'm sixteen. I'm seventeen. But I'm seventeen very soon. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown. Um, we're going on holiday together this year. Yeah, we're going to Mexico. We're going to Mexico, so I feel like we're probably gonna have some, maybe some, well, maybe we'll do like a get rid of me in Mexico because we're gonna be going like out, like mm. out, out, and you know. Um, I thought we just put that in my face. <laughs> and we'll just like, I don't know, just see what you guys wanna see. Um, and hopefully make some fun videos in Mexico. Yeah, little vlogs. Yeah, just like little things that like maybe when we go to the airport, we'll do like a vlog, vlog of us while we're at the airport when we land, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, probably won't upload it while we're there. Yeah, because just really try to edit it. Or yeah, there. just because we probably won't have time yet to like edit it and get it uploaded because don't know what the Wi Fi is going to be like. Could be very bad. Oh, I'm concentrating so bad. <laughs> yeah, I know, same. I feel like I've got to talk I'm concentrating. We're going wireless this year. Yeah, we are. I'm going on the Friday. Very excited for that. Yeah, we've got quite a few things planned. Well, that's about it, but that's a lot for us. <laughs> yeah. Got my 18th this year, which I'm looking forward to as well. Yes. Also be qualified as well for beauty this year. So that's kind of exciting. Mm, very exciting. We also we're gonna need video ideas. So like any ideas, we'll probably just do them. Yeah, our Instagram's on our um channel, so Yeah. Just DM us. Yeah, DM us or comment on the video. Like we're gonna look through the comments, reply. And stuff. Maybe we should talk about why we started YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know why. Why did we start YouTube? Well, we were sitting at college <laughs> and we're so broke. Like, we both have no money. And yeah. we just thought, like, what happens if we become big? Or we just wanna we just wanna do something with our life. So um because we're doing like beauty. It's something we both enjoy. Like we both enjoy doing each other. Like we do each other's makeup in college. Yeah. 
Both we do, it's just something, yeah, like we enjoy doing. We enjoy doing like makeup. I've always, I've always watched like beauty gurus on YouTube. Yeah, same. So I just, we it's just sort of kind of grown up with it, to be honest. Yeah, so we just sort of thought it was a good idea just to. And it's what we want to get into as well, like when we finish college. Yeah. So hopefully people actually subscribe to us. Help the girl out. Yeah, help the girls out. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Soap and Glory DIY brow bar. I really messed up this brow compared to the other one. I, I don't think it's because I'm trying to do two things at once. <laughs> I'm not used to doing this. I normally do my makeup inside. It looks so dark now that I've done my. I'm not really sure what color it is. I'm pretty sure it's this thin like brown or something like that. But it's just like a brow powder and it just sort of. Got a cough coming. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it just sort of fills in like the finer bits where the pomade didn't go. Right, so where I'm at at the moment is they're looking kind of terrible, but concealer will fix it. And I'm just going to use my brow gel. I've got a L'Oreal one, it's called Brow Artist. will do for my brows I think. The shy um, brows I've got. I'm gonna use my collection Last and Perfection. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think so. I'm using that um concealer in fair. And I'm going to use it with my little real techniques brush. I'm gonna take my Fit Me Maybelline concealer in the shade O5, I think. Just using a detailer brush by Real Techniques. I'm gone so quiet, I can't see what I'm doing, but yeah, sorry if you can't see what we're doing, but I'm literally just carving out my brows. Basically, getting rid of what I've just done wrong. <laughs> Concentration. We're not doing like eyeshadow or anything like that, but if that's something you want to see us do, like an eyeshadow or like me doing Kate's makeup, her doing mine, like let us know. Yeah, like we're just going Nando's, so we're not going too big. Yeah, we're literally just kind of doing like an everyday makeup. I'm blending it out with my beauty blender. Me too. I keep closing this mirror, but I already need it. And I've already, we've already both wet our beauty blenders, so. Yeah, we did that before we started the video. It's probably gonna look really crazy until obviously we do our foundation. Yeah, definitely, because my concealer's really light. <laughs> Same. And my foundation shade might look a bit crazy, because I go so much darker than my actual skin colour. I feel like if I go darker, I can normally make it lighter, whereas That's when... what I mean, like, it will look crazy, but my concealer's so light compared to my foundation. Same. But when I do, like, a too light one, you just... It's just too much bronzer otherwise, and I'm, I'm applying so much bronzer that it just ends up looking so cakey. Yeah. Whereas I don't I have to mean. put too much bronzer on with a darker foundation. Yeah, so I mean, if you add too much powder, that's when it starts to go wrong. I feel like I'm doing this really cack-handed. Yeah, that's what I mean. I feel like they're looking like, at Look at my arms. <laughs> <laughs> if I was left-handed, this would be so much easier. And I want to make sure they can see what I'm doing still. Yeah, right. I don't think they can. I don't really know where this is from, but it's like a, it's called brow coat, and it's just a clear brow gel, and it's a, it looks probably brown because you know I have brown eyebrows. It's kind of a bit disgusting, but what can you do? I had to throw my one out because it got so lumpy. And I was using it like whilst it was lumpy, but I thought, gotta stop being a tramp. I have two of these, but I just don't want to use the new one. Like, there's no point in wasting a good brow gel. Hmm. 
I'm not even sure where it's from, so I can't exactly get it again. Which is kind of annoying. Um, I need a drink. Yeah, my mouth's gonna be dry. So now I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, I'm gonna use like a pea size amount, like the tiniest amount. And I'm only really using that in my T-Zone. Um, Cause I don't really have pores everywhere. Just gonna take that concealer again and put a little bit on my eyelids. Cause my eyelids get really dark. And they're like a purple color and I don't want that. So for foundation, I'm using two because I normally use just my Urban Decay one when I've got a tan, but my fake tan's rubbed off. So I'm gonna have to mix it to make it a tiny bit lighter, but I'm using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the shade four. And I'm gonna mix it with the L'Oreal True Match, which is in 2R, which is Vanilla Rose, and mix them together to my color. Yeah, I need to do that as well. So I'm gonna use Huda Beauty. 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 <laughs> Beauty in creme brulee. But that's really pale for me now. So I'm going to have to mix that. I'm going to mix that with number seven. Stay perfect in the shade. Honey. And that's really dark actually. I think it's very dark. Yeah, it is. Wow. As if I was ever that colour. When we're going harder, hopefully we'll be... Yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna be that dark. <laughs> Same. We're so quiet while we're mixing this. Right, I need to just put that bit on my face. I'm gonna use a brush to blend out my foundation. I think that's actually okay. Uh, I am using my Expert Face Brush by Real Technique. I'm using a Real Techniques brush, but I've had these for so long. Oh wait, stippling brush. I thought the name had rubbed off. This is quite yellow for my skin. But it cancels out the red, so. <laughs> Mine probably looks very dark, but like, again, I still go darker on my foundation. But I blend it into my neck, don't worry. To be honest, it's a pretty good match. I think. I am looking into a mirror, by the way. I'm not looking into nothing. <laughs> like, it literally looks like I'm just looking into space, but... I am looking into a mirror. I probably still look quite white compared to my neck, but... That's what I mean, like, look up how I still look and you saw how dark that foundation was. I've got to be really careful about my brows now, I don't want to mess them up. <laughs> to get in that hairline. I'm just gonna make sure it's all blended behind my ears, under my neck, with like the leftover bit of my hand that you probably kind of see. I'm 
like looking down this whole time. And I'm so <laughs> That's what I mean. It's going to be so awkward this video just because. It is our first video and we do need to get to grips with everything. Yeah, we need to like work out how we should film. <laughs> like, we're not, obviously, we, we're, we've never done a video before. Gotta be patient with us. Yeah, so sorry if our first video is not good. We're not talking as much, but. Yeah, we're very quiet, but. We will we'll do like, a little bit more. Yeah, as soon as we get more subscribers, more followers on our Instagram, we can like post stuff on our Instagram so you guys can like be involved in our videos, and also just so that you can like, you know, help us with video ideas. Yeah, like hopefully when we get a bit more of a following, you can have your say. And also just with like, we need to get used to it. Like I'm not used to just filming myself. Yeah, no, like trying to start off this video was torture. Yeah, we did not know what to do with ourselves. But I guess that's just how everyone starts. Now, I've got a bit of foundation in my eyebrows, so I was just fixing that. I'm just like, taking no. my... Oh, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> I'm just taking my beauty blender, because if that brush, sometimes you can get a few lines. And I don't want that. So I'm going to go in with my concealer again. I'm just going to take a tiny bit under my eyes. I say a tiny bit. It's not tiny. It's still <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> But it's not as much as I used to do. I used to go all out with my concealer. We used to be terrible. Yeah, but I just realised that I don't really need that much. Way too much foundation on my hand. Let me take that off. Tiny bit on my chin. My nose. I'm a little bit like across there. <laughs> So now I look crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna use the same concealer. I'm gonna do the same thing, get rid of my bags. I feel like my beauty blender might be too wet. Yeah, I thought that. Didn't ring it but it didn't that. feel damp when I took it off, which is strange. Another thing is if, if there's any type of like makeup look you wanna see from us to do, yeah last night we all attempt things this will be a bit plain and boring today just because we are trying to start out kind of thing obviously we're not going to do like a full-on glam makeup uh, we don't really do like a glam makeup when we're going no. out anyway we just kind of do basic makeup with basic girls i mean oh, even on holiday i'm not going to be doing like full glam i'm not going to do eyeshadow and everything like just because we don't really have the time yeah. when we're out there. I'd rather just get out kind of thing. Yeah. Like we can if you wanna see like outfits and that instead, then we can always do that. We can do like a our outfit of the week but like in a one video. So we'll just show like our videos every night, our videos every night, our outfits every night on video. Mm. And we'll edit into one video. That could be arranged. That could be a thing we do. Yep. We also, when should we upload? Like, what days are we gonna do? Well, what days it say? Friday. Yeah. I mean, this week we could film wherever because we don't have college, we don't have work because we don't work. Mm. I mean, we both sort of have like a part time ish job, but it's not like all the time, so it's not like gonna take up time where we can't film or anything. Yeah. So now I look pale. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with my Hula by Benefit bronzer. And I'm just gonna use my buffing brush by Real Technique. I don't want it to be so long to blend that out, Jesus. It took me ages. I'm a bit dried out a little bit. Yeah, I feel a bit dry. It's because I do everything to make my face not look oily and then I get too dry. I'm going to take a little bit of powder underneath my eyes just so I don't crease. I'm using the Fit Me. Maybelline powder, what shade is that? 105 Natural Ivory. 
I'm gonna take my Real Techniques palette brush. I like to go quite a bit with my bronzer just because it just yeah, like look how flat my face looks. I can't wait to get some bronzer exactly, on. Exactly, like it just literally carves out my face and I love it. I think it's because as well, you make everything the same colour. Yeah. Until you put bronzer on. Like look how flat and lifeless I look at the moment. Right, okay. I'm gonna take Hula as well actually. I'm also using my sculpting brush. Some days of hula I get it spot on with how much I use. Some days of hula I don't. That's so true. I feel like some days my hula works like it's more pigmented than other days and it's really strange. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm quite heavy handed with that I think exactly me some days but today it doesn't seem to be too bad i'm hoping from what i can see currently it doesn't look too bad oh, i've got a dead leg i'm just trying to get rid of any fallouts i mean i never normally is with hula but So I'm going to move on to my, I can't say this, but it's by a benefit. This is what it's called. <laughs> I can't say it. I'm not going to attempt I'm it. I'm not going to try either. Just because I'm going to mug myself off. Because <laughs> it's going to be wrong. And I have a really bad itch. Oh no. I don't know if I like this yet. Oh no, I've got an itch right here. Oh, I feel like I need to blend a bit more. <laughs> this blush though is really good. Like it's not too much. It kind of blends into my runs over very nicely. Hey, that's okay for me now. I'm going back in with Hula to contour my nose. And wow, just... you're well ahead of me. You've only done one cheek. <laughs> I'm just using... I don't really know like oval brushes. Um, I just use this really thin one. Like I find I can proper carve out my nose with it to get it the shape I want. And then I'll blend with another oval brush. That's really dirty. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. That's the thing with hula as well, like. Definitely doesn't suit all skin tones because it if you're pale like me, yeah, but you're not as pale as me. But you need to just be careful with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, look how dirty I look now. That's what I mean. Hulu you can never you get perfect. Yeah, like you can't really predict what's gonna happen. Exactly. You, some days I I started to go really light with it twenty four seven, but then I feel like I'm like well, nothing's coming out, and then I proper go in. Yeah, like that's literally that's what's that's happened. the end of it. Like as soon as you've gone in. That's it. I'm going to add a little bit more blusher to more of like the apples on my cheek and a little bit more on my nose. I look better on camera than I do. Like That's well. what I was thinking. I look better on there than I do in person, which is fine by me. <laughs> yeah, same. So I'm just gonna, oh, it's starting to break. I'm using my very old, but sticking with me. Um, I forgot what this is called. Stay matte by. Yeah, I think it is something like that. Rimmel. That's what. That's exactly what happened to me. But he started to get a bit old, but he does the job. Still, like, I can still get stuff out of him. So I'm not gonna buy a new one till he dies. He stuck with me for a very long time. Maybe like 
six months, maybe even longer. Like he's been here a while. But I'm using it in 001 transparent. Wow. If you just saw that, that was awful. And I'm gonna use my unicorn brush. I don't really know where they're from. I don't know if you know where they're from. I feel like they're from just Super Jug. Yeah, I was about to say that. I feel like they sold them in Super Jug at one point. <laughs> my mum got her, herself some, bless her. Yeah, I just did laugh watching my mum. Can you tell my story? Okay, you tell basically. Me my mum, yeah, she'll sit there and she'll slap it on with her fingers and then she'll try and make it, like, use her beauty blender to make it look okay. <laughs> that's her. She sticks a bit of powder on and mascara and that's about it. My mum always, like, my mum without foul would do... Foul? Full. Without fail. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> foul. <laughs> well, um, put eyeliner just at the top of her eye and just, like, a long, like, no flick or anything. She would just... That's so cute. She's so cute. She does try her. Yeah, I do like your mum. Do you ever have your mum than my mum? No, your mum's so cute. No, I'm joking. I do love my mum at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. I feel like I can't get the front bit of my eyebrow right currently. But I keep looking at it and I'm like, yeah, it looks good. But then I look at it again and I'm like, no, bitch. I, mean, I feel like I look a little bit better now. Like, I don't look as flat. <sighs> I still look so proud to, like, to the rest of my body, like, look. Yeah, but so do I. Like, I thought I was really pale still, but clearly, clearly not. Right, let's have a look closer, if I look okay. Oh, I just got that like, right in my eyebrow. I feel like I still need to blend. Just under my Fuck, eyes. I'm still on bronzer. What the fuck am I doing? Oh. No, <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> still on bronzer. Right. I'm getting so close. Like, ignore me. I'm trying to get this right. Sorry. I'm just gonna go out of camera while I do this, just so I get my face right without. <laughs> right, so I'm using. A little bit of Okay, this was Real Techniques, but it doesn't have a name anymore, and it's a little eyeshadow brush, but I use it to contour my nose because it's quite little and fluffy. So I'm gonna take that. Can't go anywhere without nose contour. It makes me feel so much better. Making so much noise, I'm getting annoyed. Oh wow, I need to blend that out. Okay, I'm back. Feeling a bit better now. <laughs> I was just getting pressured, okay? Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just spray my face with the Revolution Pro Fix before I do my highlight because I feel like my highlight sticks better after a bit of. What is this called? Fixing spray. But I don't know setting what spray. Setting spray, that's what I call it. Setting spray. Um, it also kind of gets rid of any excess powders that are left on my face. Just gonna blend everything together because I feel like everything's just still a bit muddy. And everywhere. Yeah, when I wear my arm as well. <laughs> so while that like dries a little bit, gets a little bit like tacky, I'm gonna put on some eyelashes. Um, <laughs> I haven't even done blush yet. <laughs> right. Normally, you're in front of me. And yeah. I'm always... I think what it is is I'm trying to be perfect, but I'm not going to be perfect. I um, can't be perfect. These but... are GWA lashes, but I can't remember what they're called. I lost the case that they came in. But they cost me £10. Um, but they're amazing. I use them for prom. Just because they're so right. big. Right. Blush. And I also have glue left on which is really gross because now i've got to sit here and pick it off i'm glad to do that so don't worry we probably should have done that before the video but this is us so i'm using a little number seven blush that i got from boots and it's called peach velvet because i like a bit of a peach blush this is a real techniques brush but again it's not called anything because it's rubbed off you can just about see that it have writing on it see <laughs> it says like the tech bit okay i'm gonna use my duo glue like a bit of blush. it's the best glue i need to get a new one and um, really do you want to tell them why i need to get a new one <laughs> <laughs> so basically with duo glue i don't know if this happens to everyone's but when it gets old like katie's um it's got like it had like chunky it got like 
it's stuck. It all got gloopy inside. Yeah, like, you need to clean the top, but I just forget. So I was shaking it to get it out, and it wouldn't come out. So I squeezed it because I thought all over my eyelashes. Yeah, I thought there was like tiny bit left, but because it all clumped together inside, it, it had like the gloop of it had come out in one. So it was all over my eyelash, all over her eyelashes, and I was like, okay. Well, clearly someone needs a new duo clean now. <laughs> Don't worry, it's coming soon. But I'm still using the old, the old um, duo glue. Oh, <laughs> that is so disgusting. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I need a new one. They sell them in Primark now, you know, for three pounds. Really? Oh no, it is a fiver still. Oh, I was gonna say because I bought it there. That's why. Because basically, what happened? Do you want, I'll tell you. Why am I putting on lashes? Who do I think I because am? Because I'm not I'm ready yet. <laughs> Right. So basically, I have a story about duo glue. So for Christmas, I, I said like to my mum, I would like some duo glue because I had none. And I asked her the Christmas Eve if she had got me duo glue because I thought, you know what, if she hasn't, I want to wear lashes on Christmas. And she was like, no. The one thing I actually asked for for Christmas, she didn't get, which is just so relatable. It happens every year. So I was like, okay, well, would it be alright if I get some? So I went up the shop to look for dry glue, and for some reason, in every single shop, they didn't have this dry glue. They only had like the other ones, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to buy one because otherwise, I'm not wearing lashes. I'm gonna look like a bald man. <laughs> so I picked up just a random one and got home thinking it was just gonna be clear, it looked like a clear stick one got home and it turned out it was blue like electric blue dark blue and it said it was for dark skin tones um so i was like okay we'll just give it in a go like it's one one day i'll use it you know i spent i didn't spend just six pounds on it to use for one day but that's what we're gonna go with so um i put it on my eyelash and my whole eyelash turned black pretty much i had like a black line and i also then dropped it on my bed and it's now staying to my bed, which is great. I don't know where I am. Well, I'm now on my MAC highlight. Because I'm waiting for my glue. I left my MAC highlight at home. And I'm using my setting this... brush. Oh, sorry. I spoke over you. We have the same little um, highlight result. We, yeah, we went to Superdrug together. It was pretty cute. We had a cute little day out, didn't we? Bought yeah. loads of makeup together. I'm just going to be a bit of a tramp and use the same brush. <laughs> Because I can never get... Well, my... And I'm going to also go with that you as well. You didn't see that, did I? Did you? No. Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm also going to go in with that as well because, honestly, watch this. It's just okay? amazing. So you see my MAC highlight? Yeah, it, it looks good. Just watch. I want to do a little swatch for them. Like, look. It's only revolution, but... God I'm going to make sure you can see this. Like, look, can you see that? Look at that on my cheek. Like, it doesn't look as good on my hand, but as it does on my face. We right paid now. like three pounds. Three pound, and I'm not being funny. I paid like twenty five pound for my Mac highlight. Yeah, exactly. My Mac highlight cost me like tw twenty five pounds. It literally was the same. And it, uh, don't get me wrong, it's chunky glitter, so it looks good. But look at that. That is a shine. Like I am fully glad. I don't even. You literally tap the little bit on. Sort of like blend them out, and I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush and just swipe over every other part of the highlight so it's not. I've got really shiny chin. Wow. Woo! She. I'm in such a mess now. <laughs> Look at you this. You should have seen how we started off it was. so organised. But now. It's the opposite. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna look down into my mirror. If anyone is struggling to put like eyelashes on just look down into a mirror like sometimes i don't use um tweezers but i know you do well i did until someone at my college told them <laughs> oh yeah that's another thing so yeah. i'm gonna ask our college well i'm not gonna go ahead and just say that someone's not my scissors my <laughs> tweezers but i left them on the side came back bear in mind all of our makeup was still there yeah so out of all of our makeup that they could have chose they chose that's why i don't understand and I didn't go around accusing everyone. I was looking at my bag one night. I looked so many times. Oh, yeah. We both went through our bag. We both looked in the same places where it could and have been. And the only reason why I thought someone had stolen it is because the same girl got her makeup kit stolen. Like, her whole... Like, our whole kit. Like, not just her makeup bag. Her makeup bag was in there. But 
all of her like kit that we paid like 150 pounds for that's what i mean but why still my scissors tweezers it stops saying scissors. i don't know where scissors is coming from and the only reason i got so annoyed about it because you're probably thinking yeah just go ahead and buy another pair of tweezers these are like tweezer mate ones and they were like bright and luminous pink and i kind of loved them and don't get me wrong she did love them. i paid like six pounds for those tweezers so it's not cheap. Like if they were like cheap two pound tweezers, she wouldn't be mad. That's what I mean. She'd just be like dry water. At least it wasn't like my makeup bag. Exactly. But it's just one of them things that you. It's just, just irritating. I can see eyelash glue in my eye, which is kind of. It annoying. was just irritating. Oh. Right, so I'm gonna take my Sosu eyelashes, and they sell them in like prime up for a fiver. So fine by me. And they're only little itty bitty ones because I don't want to go too big and again I'm going to have to pick the crusty eyelash glue off because you'll learn to know that oh, I said that really wrong I'm have to you'll that know out. you'll find <laughs> out what we're really like we don't get me wrong we're clean but with eyelashes I just rip them off and wait till I next use them who, who takes their eyelashes off and goes all, sh all crap I need to get all the eyelashes no, I did when it first when I first got like these ones and my doll lashes just oh, because my doll lashes are so lovely, like I literally love them. These are a fiver from Primark. Like, I'm not gonna cry about beauty, it. Doll if you wanna promote, like you know, send us stuff. Be my guest. I love that stuff. Even though I just like the fact it's all pink. I to now. I remember. I remember. Um, what did I buy from there? It was like when it first came to Topshop. and I bought like something little and pathetic, like a concealer or something like that. I don't even think I do concealers. I don't know what it was. They do eyelashes, they do highlighters, they do bronzers. They've just That's got what I mean. Tan. It was just something so little. Cause but the girl in Topshop, like when I went there, she was so lovely to me. And she was even, she went through the trouble of filling out through her whole like phone to show me like the lashes that I liked. Just to show me what they look like on. Because I said that sometimes, you know, I just need to see them on. Ew. My, eye, my eyelash glue just bubbled. That's what I mean. Your eyelash glue is so dirty inside. <laughs> don't get me wrong I've had this like since you've had that for a long time because you've had it since I'd my birthday si last year yeah because we went to Chiquito's and you used it and I used it because I didn't have any eyelash glue yeah that's I must have bought one before my birthday's sure. coming up after that I mean because that wouldn't have lasted me that long I think it might have I feel like I bought one before Christmas about to sneeze. <coughs> I think I've had this one Whoa. since like my birthday. I feel like I bought a new one because my eyelash my just birthday. got stuck to my bottom lashes because it's still a bit tacky. Oh bless you, by the way. That was really rude of me. <laughs> Thanks. That was. I'm gonna have to edit that out because that was 100% so ugly. <laughs> but like I've got a cold coming. I don't want a cold. I'm putting my eyelash glue on over your table. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll pick it up afterwards. Hmm. As long as it doesn't get all dry and crusty on there. No, it's already dry and crusty. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. What's the same thing happen again? What happened in bloody college? And just mess up the video. Mess up the video? Well, for me anyway. Oh, Might no. be very happy. <laughs> Do you can use mine. It's fine, I've done it now. Right, I'm going to let them sit. A bit of sense, I think. And this is... Rimmel London, Insta, Fix and Go. Yeah. Do you know what I also think? Like, revolution yeah. right now. I kind of love them. They're just... I'd rather spend money on their makeup than... Not being know. funny, I have bought some high-end makeup. I bought a Tarte uh, mascara that I generally do not like. <laughs> That's like this foundation... Like, don't get me wrong, I love it, but I didn't get the right colour because I ordered it online. I did. I don't like the texture of it sometimes. Like, don't get me wrong, I kind of love it like right now. It feels quite nice. But it's so drying where it's just matte. I don't know if it's supposed to be matte, but it's really matte on my skin. Yeah, but th that's what I mean. The tar I, I spent £26 or something like that on that... Um, oh, that was a big spritz. On just that waterproof mascara and don't get me wrong it comes in such a nice like leather case 
it's but it's what not, you paid for. It literally is what I paid for. It's waterproof. Don't get me wrong. It's so waterproof. Like, I wore it when I was. I got it when I was in America, and I went. We to, first started doing facials. I could get it off. Do you remember? Yeah. I went to Volcano Bay, and I had it on, and all the splashes obviously coming in my face, and I, that's the only thing I put on was literally just some mascara, so I didn't look like a dead person walking. Um, and it just stayed on the whole day, and it didn't even clump together with the water or nothing. It was great, but I couldn't get it off. That's the problem. That's why I don't like. I just you can't get it on. It's stuck off on my eyelashes yeah, for I can like that'd be really three days. I'm trying to get off. So I kind of stick with my Benefit Roller Lash, which is also good. Or oh, they're real. They're real's really good as well. But yeah, for my bottom lashes, I find that this one's perfect because of the shape. See, this is where I need my tweezers. Do you know what I mean? Do you want some tweezers? Have you got some on you? Right there. I've got Aww. loads of pairs. I have a little rummage. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for these ones. See, this is literally this, this is literally what they were, but they this were tweezers, mate. They're like, tangled. Yeah. I think they actually are eyelash tweezers. It's just because my fingers, when I tell you I've got such, like, look at my hand compared to my head, like... Whereas mine, can't, I don't, I feel like with me and tweezers, I don't get on with them with eyelashes. It's I've like, never done, yeah. I've never had to use them. I've always been, my fingers have been fine to just stick them on. That's what I mean. I can do it, but I have to use something thin to get into the inner corner because my nose and my fingers get in the way. Mine's the opposite. They're all right. <laughs> they get out of the way. As long as they're actually stuck down. And I say that and then they're just not stuck down, but they actually are. I feel like I really should have gone for some bigger lashes, but they'll do. Mine are quite big. Just because these are the ones I used to wear to college. I'm just gonna run a little tiny bit of mascara through that. I don't like putting too much because that glue's dried out so much. Just because it messes up my eyelashes. But they they seem to be alright. Seems to be alright if I put a little bit. Alright, I need to wait for that to dry a little bit then. Okay, so for my um, lip pencil, it's from Primark, and don't get me wrong, this is the best like lip line I've ever used. Um mm. it's in Tape. Is that the word? Tape? Top. No, Top? I think it's tape. No, it has a U in it. Yeah, but I don't know. T-A-U-P-E. That's top. I don't know. One of them. That's what makes me think it's tape. But I don't know. I was going to Google it, but I was going to this one. I don't know. It's just from Primark. It needs to be sharpened, but I can't find a sharp. I love Primark lip liners though. For something so simple, like stuff you put on your lips, why pay a lot of money for it? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I did. What I'm about to use is quite expensive. Yeah, I've got my Morphe lip gloss, but I feel like lip gloss is a bit different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm very slightly overlining and underlining them, but not too much because sometimes when people... I'm not trying to roast you if you do it, but sometimes it looks bad. But she just calls a load of beef of yourself now. <laughs> yeah, but as long as you do, okay. So fair enough if you do it like really good so that no one notices. But I haven't really seen anyone do it. But do you know what? Like, you do just see some people walking down the street with like big lips on, and you know that they've overlined. Yeah. Because also when it starts rubbing off as well, you don't want to go too big because when it does start rubbing off, it looks so silly. It does. So what I like to do with mine is I sort of like, I sort of ombre it with my lip liner. And then, once I've done that, and I'm happy with them, I'm not happy with them. Oh, I think I'm done with my eyelashes. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty. This is my most expensive lip line stuff I've ever bought. It was like £25. Um, it's in this shade Bonnie and I love it. I think I'm ready for it. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna do my lips before I do my eyelashes. Finish them off. Right, so I'm gonna take. I don't know what this is. I think it's Soap and Glory. It has like, a little symbol, but... That's W7. That is literally is the brand. Are you sure? Yeah, this is Soap and Glory. I'm back to you, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. And it's a... It's in the shade... I just, Plumps Up. I just like the colour of this one. I don't know what the colour is. Like, 
Oh, it's called Caked. It's by W7. The brand W7. There is a brand. Oh. It's the only thing I own from W7. I got it for Christmas in a little set. W7 have... lip stuff's really good. I used to have some. Mm, I'm not gonna. I usually wear the overlining, but because I don't have a lip liner close enough to the shade, I kind of just try and do it a little bit, but I'm not too bothered about overlining. And that's my lips. Like, they probably look crazy because they're so bright, but I love them. Personally, I like it. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave those to dry so that it gets matte. I'm going to finish off my eyelashes. I'm finished. Like, I'm. This is my finished look. So this mascara I'm using. I was using the Benefit Roller Lash. And then I got this years ago for Christmas. It's MAC Halt and Naughty Lash. This is really cool, this um, in black. This is the hell? mascara. And I'm going to show you something. Because I went years without knowing what this does. So it looks like this. You open up the purple bit. And it's that wand. And then... You open up this bit, and it's that wand. But we don't know how. I it don't works. know where it comes from. <laughs> Cause because they both go into. Look how skinny that is. Unless it goes, to... I just don't. I don't understand. We don't get it. But I thought it was really cool, and I found it again. And I discovered it a few weeks ago, so I've started using it again. I'm pretty sure I've done. Like, what have I not done? I'm. I'm happy with what I look like anyway. For now, it will do. When I do my mascara, I put a tiny bit on my top lashes just so they connect. Because with my eyelashes, I either need to curl them or do that because they go like straight out kind of thing. So I need to connect them. I'm literally just sitting now waiting for you. <laughs> I'm Don't literally done. All I've got to do is blast myself. My top lip looks really small actually. Wait there. We look so different. Like, you look so orange. I look so white. Thanks. <laughs> but not in, like, a bad That's orange. Me. Like, I wish I was that tanned. It's because you should have seen the troubles I was having with that hula. <laughs> and I'm taking my Morphe lip gloss. I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. It's called Sway. And my boyfriend got this for me for Christmas this year. Bless him. My and hair's gone a bit wavy now. I think... I think I'm done. So thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And leave comments down below on what we should do next. Our Instagram will be linked down below.